St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow, St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, and Westminster Abbey in London. These are some famous and beautiful churches around the world. When we say the word church, often we will picture a building where we see Christians streaming in every Sunday. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the head of the church and we are all members that make up the body of Christ. So although we conveniently use church to refer to a building, Christians understand church to refer more importantly to any community of people who follow Jesus. Nonetheless, the church building gives us a place to gather. The gathering of God's people is important in our journey to grow closer to God because we have a place where we know we can find a community of like-minded people to learn and to grow in our Christian beliefs, to help and encourage one another and to belong. It may seem daunting joining a new group. It's much like our first day of work, right? Where we are in a new environment, new faces, new relationships to navigate. And much like our next few days in a new environment, we make friends, have conversations, and even have meals with new colleagues. Daunting, yes, but worth it, definitely. Knowing Christ in my life has given me a lot of joy, uh, a lot of sense of direction on what to do. And, you know, like the community of the church is also a very important aspect of my faith. A spiritual friendship that you get inside church is so important that people at, can support you doing some of your deepest depths and go to with you in prayer and journey with you through some of your toughest times. Having people with the same value set as you and they are capable of helping to intervene in prayer in some of your most difficult parts is something that you, you can't really get in outside social groups. Okay, so um, it was uh, 20, 2011, yeah, so I had um, a very bad breakup like, in 2010. Um, and then I think at, during that time, I was really, I think even before I had some um, I say, uh, searching already, like searching for God and, and all this um, uh, spiritual search. Lah. And then um, I think it was at that point when I was like, you know, uh, emotionally very broken. Um, then it was, it was quite actually amazing because uh, there's this one day in 2011 where um, there was traffic uh, on my way home. And then, um, uh, yeah, and then I just suddenly noticed about our, my, the church in the Philippines uh, near my house and I, I, sh I just decided um, to, to went in for a fellowship, a young adult fellowship one day and I think from there, it, 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 I, never, I never went back. I, I mean, I mean uh, uh, it just uh, continued. Uh, yeah, so... To, to the various uh, uh, what kind of ministries, uh, I think it helped me grow in a way that uh, they are ways I know I can uh, contribute or uh, work on it, uh, be of service to God and not just be on the receiving end. Um, I think the main thing is uh, being part of community. So that's, that's uh, how I help me grow. Yeah. So I think uh, in terms of uh, like Sunday services, I mean we get to um, learn and grow in the Word. Um, and I think the other important aspect as well is a cell group um, where we can actually um, come together once a week and uh, not only grow in terms of our knowledge of the Bible, our knowledge of God and also to be able to be with, uh, for each other, um, there for each other, like, to support each other uh, yeah, and, and grow alongside each other. Like. I think uh, in, an important aspect so is about like, accountability and being able to um, help each other uh, during difficult times. Yeah. Throughout the Bible, followers of Jesus often met together in both big and small groups. We see a glimpse of what such a Christian gathering looks like in the book of Acts in chapter 2. The early church met regularly. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and they shared all that they had. In our church, we gather every Sunday 
as a whole to worship God together and to hear our pastors share teachings from the Bible with us. Practically, such large group gathering is a convenient means to share a message with every member in the church at the same time. But more significantly, gathering in large groups helps us to appreciate tangibly that we belong as a part of a larger community of Christians and symbolises for us that Jesus welcomes and includes as many people as are willing to trust and follow Him. However, it is very difficult for deep friendships to be built and for people to care for one another in such a large group. Hence, we create smaller communities through our connect groups. In our connect groups, or what we call CGs, we walk with each other in life's journey, loving, encouraging and praying for each other. Both large group and small group meetings are beneficial for us to grow as followers of Jesus. Hence, we strongly encourage you to join us for our Sunday service and to get started with a connect group as well. Come, experience the love that comes from the gathering of fellow followers of Jesus. It may be daunting to join a new group, but we know it's worth it. Because living and growing as a Christian is best done in a church community.